Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi. We continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is nitrogen and its compounds. Uh, we've been looking at uh, the chemical properties of ammonia and uh, today I would like us to uh, discuss the reaction of aqueous ammonia uh, with uh, with metallic ions with metallic ions what is basically known as identification of cations using aqueous ammonia so what we are saying here is that uh, ammonia solution or aqueous ammonia can be used to identify which cations or which metallic ions are in a particular solution and this one is based on the formation of precipitates of different colors as we shall see so we are looking at uh, the reaction of aqueous ammonia with metallic ions in solutions uh, and on this we are saying that uh, aqueous ammonia can be used to identify cations cations are metallic ions the cations present in a given solution and you can see that this is based on the formation of precipitates of different colors so let's take a, an example let's take an example uh, we can say that uh, assuming we have zinc sulfate solution so zinc sulfate solution we are saying that uh, it contains zinc ions so zinc ions are cations and those cations can be identified using aqueous ammonia and we say that aqueous ammonia is basically ammonium hydroxide uh, that is when ammonia is dissolved in water we form ammonium hydroxide so when you react aqueous ammonia with the zinc sulfate solution uh, we will form a white precipitate of zinc hydroxide zinc hydroxide is insoluble so it will form a white precipitate and then we shall have plus ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate which is a colorless solution so we have zinc hydroxide is a white ppt white precipitate um can check the balancing ammonium hydroxide we can balance that and then oh yeah that equation is balanced so in this equation we can write it as an ionic equation and as an ionic equation we are trying to find out which ions have formed the white precipitate the white precipitate of zinc hydroxide so the ionic equation of this will be zinc ions have combined with hydroxide ions 
to form zinc hydroxide which is a white precipitate so the the press uh, the the formation of the white precipitate indicates the presence of zinc ions so the zinc ions combine with the hydroxide ions from the aqueous ammonia to form zinc hydroxide so the moment we see a white precipitate we know that there is the presence of zinc ions so that one has helped us to identify the cations present in a given solution and we are saying that that is the case because of the formation of precipitates of different colors now let's take another example assuming that we had a solution of copper 2 nitrate copper 2 nitrate solution and then we add aqueous ammonia So we'll find that copper 2 hydroxide will be formed plus ammonium nitrate. Solution. Uh, to balance, we can balance the nitrates like that and ammonium like that. So that is the equation. Now, this copper 2 hydroxide that we have formed here is a blue precipitate. So the moment we see a blue precipitate, we know there is the presence of copper ions. So copper ions form a blue precipitate with aqueous ammonia. Zinc ions form a white precipitate with aqueous ammonia so we can see that different cations or different metallic ions are forming different colors of precipitates and we can also write this in form of an ionic equation showing the formation of the precipitate so we have the copper two ions these ones here have combined with the hydroxide ions to form the copper 2 hydroxide which is the precipitate so copper 2 hydroxide is a blue precipitate now so what we are basically saying is that uh, the color of the precipitate, if it is blue, we know that copper 2 ions are present. If the precipitate is white, we know that the zinc ions are present. And that is because aqueous ammonia can help us identify the cations by checking the color of the precipitate. The third example... is if we have ion 2 chloride plus aqueous ammonia that is ammonium hydroxide uh, this reaction will give us ion 2 hydroxide which is a precipitate plus ammonium chloride ammonium chloride which is a solution so we are using our knowledge of solubility of salts which salts are soluble and which ones are not which hydroxides are soluble which ones are not so to balance the equation uh, we can balance the chlorides and the ammonium so the ion 2 hydroxide this one is a pale green precipitate. So the moment we see 
a pale green precipitate or simply a green precipitate, we know that ion 2 ions are present. So, again, the ionic equation is that ion 2 ions from here combines with the hydroxide ions to form ion 2 hydroxide which is a pale green precipitate a pale green uh, precipitate so <coughs> So we have seen three equations that tell us that uh, aqueous ammonia can be used to identify uh, the cations present in a given solution. Uh, we'll take number four as well. Another example, if we had ion three chloride, now it's not ion 2, it's ion 3 chloride. And then we add aqueous ammonia or ammonium hydroxide. We will form ion 3 hydroxide. Which is a precipitate and ammonium chloride. So, to ammonium chloride to balance, we'll put a 3 there and a 3 here. So, the ion 3 hydroxide being formed, this is a brown precipitate. So, when we see the brown precipitate, after adding aqueous ammonia, we know that there is the presence of ion 3 ions. The ion 3 ions will combine with the aqueous ammonia to form a brown precipitate. So ionically, ionic equation, we are saying that ion 3 ions plus the hydroxide ions. Hydroxide ions are coming from aqueous ammonia. Uh, this one gives us ion 3 hydroxide which is a brown precipitate. So just a summary of what we have said is that zinc ions form a white precipitate with aqueous ammonia. Copper 2 ions form a blue precipitate with aqueous ammonia and Ion 2 ions form a pale green precipitate with aqueous ammonia, while ion 3 ions form a brown precipitate with aqueous ammonia. And that is as explained by the equations that we have. Our assignment So the question is one, what is the color of precipitates when the following cations react with aqueous ammonia? Zinc ions, what is the color of precipitate do they form? Ion 2 ions, what is the color of the precipitate? Copper 2 ions, what is the color of the precipitate? And ion 3 ions, what is the color of the precipitate? So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>